Yes, I think sometimes the mismatch can come from a pre-existing mental illness that is not well controlled. But as you mentioned earlier in the segment, Dr. Drew, she is under medication. She is well controlled. Her emotions do match her words. She, I just feel so bad for this woman that she is being re-traumatized by having to detail that day. And I think it's so sad the defense is trying to pick apart the fact that she obviously had some money with finances. I mean, that was part of the exchange that led to the baby being shot. And now they're using that as a possible motive in all of this and bringing her on the stand in this way. Did you agree with what Cheryl was saying? I do agree. I think somebody needs to look at this constellation of diagnoses that have come up for this individual and see if everything really matches. Somebody must be doing a more careful differential diagnosis of the situation. But I do agree with Cheryl that she is not somebody that seems to be the type of person who's a perpetrator. You know, she's so withdrawn, like she's much more likely to attract victimization than anything ah, else. Again, which and is something borderline really trying too. They bring, they bring that stuff into up here. Okay, thanks, Dr. Drew. Hi, Jacob. Thank you so much for being here and so sorry for your loss. Um, I was just Thank wondering, you. since this all have happened, how have you been taking care of your sister and how have you been trying to support her through all of this when she's under the gun now? They actually think she has something to do with her own baby's death. She's not too much concerned about that. She knows.